Okay, we've been having a little bit of a discussion. It's, it's turned into a, a, a kind of funny on the way everybody thinks on how to do things. Um, it started with Penny's videos on how she goes about setting in her pantos and getting the heights just perfect. Um, you know, if you haven't seen those videos, I suggest you go and, and view them. Um, one of the things about the way she quilts is that she has been a paper panto queen <laughs> for so many years that she really likes her pantos to stitch out the same as they were when she was non-computerized. So say she had a 12 inch panto, she wanted that quilt to that pant pattern on the IQ to stitch out the same exact size almost like if she was doing it um, by hand. And it's funny because I've had my system for quite some time and I'm, I looked at her videos and I thought, no, she's going about it the long way. But then after I got to playing with it, um, you know, here I thought I knew what I was talking about. I, I, I posted, we're having this discussion on longarmchat.com, by the way. There's a computer uh, computer forum, a computer quilting forum that we're, we're sort of having fun with. But we got into this discussion and so I'm, I'm thinking automatically that no she's wrong we, we can there's just an easier way this is going to confuse people so I proceed to type out a big uh, lengthy discussion on how to do this um, by just using your row gap and that it doesn't change the pattern height and on and on and on because I never really stop to think about it I normally you know I can set up a panto in 20 seconds and if it looks good on the screen I, I run it and I'm not taking my measurements and actually trying to compare it with a paper paper version so you know this has taught me a good lesson um, and I think others are learning from it too uh, Helen weighed in on it also and, and gave her little um, you know techniques but here again I get a call from Zoltan and he says you're all wrong <laughs> so he explained it to me a little bit better um, I think I understand it I don't feel like I understand it enough to uh, fully explain it but I understand the procedures now on how I would get something to measure um, the same a little bit easier maybe a little bit easier than the way Penny was doing it but I'm not I'm not going there I'm not I'm you know Penny does things her own way um, we all do things our own way so I'm not here to kind of say one way is better than the other but anyway I'm just trying to trying to go over the interface with the IQ and how it was um, meant to be set up so without further uh, further discussion I'm gonna go ahead and try this out here again I'm learning along with you I'm gonna design a quilt start new I'm gonna do a pantograph now I do like the way that um, she went and just added large measurements 150 and then what she does is uses her clip markers to the actual quilt size so I'm gonna do it like that too I like that idea that's not a bad idea um, I gave it 150 by 50 now I'm going to move the needle to the left hand corner I'm really not going to do that here because um, I, I just want to play around with the gap so I think she was using one of Tammy Finkler's I'm gonna go in here and or yeah I think it was Tammy Finkler's it doesn't matter I, I just want to pull up a I'm gonna pull actually I'm gonna pull up a no we'll use take that back we'll use what she was using because there's a I know that she's telling me that the measurement on that pattern is um, I think it's pretty posies hopefully I'm right pretty posies okay it's pretty posies continue pretty posies continue I don't know if that's right or not what she's saying but okay if you look at the screen we need to close in the gap definitely need to close in that gap so what Zoltan is saying that okay right now my row height is at 12 my pattern height is at 12 what needs to be done first is to work with the row gap automatically we need to start pulling that together now as we pull that together this pattern height changes and right now it's almost well let's pull it to 13 because I think that's the example that Penny used I hope I'm using the same I think I'm using the same same pattern she she used but I can't even get mine to 13 but um, okay it's at 13.04 is what the pattern height says I've got I've got this adjusted to row height now according to Zoltan if I'm understanding correctly what we need to do now this row gap does not change anymore all I'm doing is putting it putting the gap to where it needs to be in relation to the row above it so now I'm going to go and hit the row height 
and I'm going to, I can't really use the calculator to do this because all I'm going to be doing is changing the row height and that's just a lot of guesswork. So now what I'm looking at, I want to bring this to a 12. So I'm just going to go down and I'm going to change that to 12 or get it as close to 12 as I can. 12.04 12 is, sorry Penny, that's as close as I could get. If I go and measure now, I think what we were doing were, was we were actually measuring, and I probably should have measured this before I started to see exactly what the pattern is, but I'm going to take my measure here and go up to the highest point, oops, um, I hope you got that, and go to the lowest point and see what I'm measuring, and I'm measuring, oh there's the lowest point, it's right on, it's 12 there, um, from this from this is the this is the lowest point to this is the highest point on the pattern. I'm right at I'm at 12.05, but I think that's pretty acceptable. I don't know if anybody uh, could actually tell the difference between 12.0 and 12.05. So um, that was pretty easy. Instead of going in and changing, uh, going into another screen and copying those patterns and shifting and doing all that, I don't know. I think this is easier. I think I have to hand it to Zoltan to be. Um, a little bit easier. Now the whole, let me zoom back, full full zoom, whoops, finished, it's updating, whoops, wait a minute. I think the idea of her, I think what Penny was trying to do was bring in a block on another pattern, or another screen. She was adding a block so she could actually then block out her quilt, which that's a good idea. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not criticizing you, Penny. Um, that's a really good idea. But if you're just concerned about keeping that, uh, you know, keeping that where you need to be as far as the row height, I think row gap is where we want to, how we want to do it. We want to change row gap first and then use our plus and minus. Don't go and use the calculator. And then we're trying to get that row height. That's where I was confused. It's the row height that needs to be 12 and we're using that plus and minus to get there. If we use cal the calculator, we would just have to be guessing at, at numbers that would get us there. But using the plus and minus, uh, we just click it till it gets there. Um, let me think if there's anything else. Oh, uh, you know, Penny would block out that, use the bl uh, put in another block. But for me, I think what I would do when I got ready to sew that, if I really didn't need all that and I was concerned on where, let me zoom in, and I was concerned on where the flowers might be, and I didn't want to cut flowers off, and I think that's, I think that's where the issue is. Um, I would start to sew it. Oops, oops. Get to, what I'm looking for is I'm trying to get to that clip mark, and I, I can't remember you know, exactly what I would do, but then what I would do is make my clip marks, do my clip marks, and put it, let me zoom in, you know, each row, which is basically, I think she's saying that she's using each thing. I would take the clip marks and actually, let me zoom, full zoom, so I can do a clip mark here, and then just, oh, got to turn my zooms out, and then just pull in, you know, get it the size I want, and, you know, continue on doing that. I kind of think that's easier, um, but like I said, if, if bringing in the block, I think where we're missing is you can clip both sides, and so we don't have to kind of bring in a block. I'm not sure. I'm I'm really having a hard time figuring out where the block comes from. I, I it's me. I'm missing something. So, um, you know, I'm not criticizing one bit because I know she's got knowing Penny. She's got a reason for everything she does, but I just I couldn't figure out why the why the block needed to be there. So, um, yeah, that's that's what I would do, and then start stitching from there. So. I don't know if that made sense or not, but since the discussion's going on onward, I thought maybe I better, um, you know, just clarify a few things. That is what I'm understanding Zoltan to say on how to how to align all that stuff. So hopefully this helped.